Hey guys, Ben here with Sportsman's Outdoor Superstore, and today we have the Century Arms Visca Synthetic model. But before we get started on the specs and go over this sweet rifle, I just want to talk to you guys really quick. We noticed that the majority of the viewers on our videos aren't subscribed. So if you would subscribe, we'd really appreciate it. And go ahead and hit that notification bell while you're at it. That way you're notified when we release new videos on sweet rifles like this. Okay, let's go over some of the specs on this Visca synthetic model. So the only difference between this and the standard Visca is the stock and the furniture up front. They just changed it over to synthetic from wood. Um, as far as internals go, this rifle has a um, machined tr front trunnion here and feed ramp and the bolt carrier, they're all made from, they're machined from S7 tool steel. So that makes them really, really durable um, in this awesome AK rifle. So this model is chambered N762 by 39. So it's an AKM because the receiver here is stamped, not milled. So this is an AKM style rifle chambered in 762 by 39. So some of the features we can cover, um, it has an adjustable uh, for elevation. The rear sight's adjustable for elevation. The front sight is adjustable for windage. You just have to um, have a, you know, a punch to, to drive that left and right. It has the standard slant muzzle that most AKs come with and uh, comes with a 30, 30 round US Palm magazine. It also features a Rack 1 enhanced trigger group. All right, so the barrel on this Visca is a Chrome Molly 4150 and it's 16 and a quarter inches. And moving into the bolt, it's made from 4140 steel and it has a carburized finish on it. Best thing about this Visca, it's all made in the US. Okay, so now that we've covered all the specs, we also wanna show you guys how to field strip an AK style rifle. Um, we want to be a one-stop shop for you. So if you had any questions about it, we're going to show you right now. So first thing, you want to make sure that the bolt is forward and you want to drop your magazine. So the magazine release here, releases the magazine. You got an empty mag and you also want to make sure that the rifle is clear, no round in the chamber and you're good to go. So you want to first push in on this button here on the back of the receiver, which is gonna depress the spring, the recoil spring. And when you do that, you can lift up on the dust cover here and pull it straight back, removing the dust cover. Then the next step is to remove the recoil spring. So you just want to push to push some tension in the spring and it relieves it and then you just pull it out of the bolt carrier. Set that off to the side. And then the bolt here and everything, bolt and carrier slides back and you lift up on it just a little bit. And that's the whole bolt carrier assembly. And that's pretty much field stripping the rifle. So you can clean it from here. And then if you want to remove the actual bolt, you just flip the carrier over and you want to spin the bolt and it will slide right out of the carrier, just that easy and to reassemble it's just the reverse order so you just drop the bolt into the carrier and you want to make sure that this this little lip here slides in and that will index and the way you know you have it right is if you're holding it like this if you're holding the bolt carrier like this and the bolt doesn't fall that's the way it's supposed to be so then you just put it right back in the rifle in the reverse order you put your your gas piston here into the gas block and then you press down on the bolt carrier group and push it forward and it locks into place and you take your recoil spring put it back in the back of the bolt carrier and you just make sure that it's spun over and there's a little channel here in the back of the receiver that accepts the recoil spring retention and once you get that locked in you just take your dust cover and you want to make sure that you put it, there's a little notch right here. You just want to make sure that that's in the notch and then you push, sorry. Once you're in the notch, you push tension on the spring and make sure that it's fit in here in the front and then you press down. And once that locks in, you just put a little tension on your, on your uh, recoil spring and it will pop back out of the dust cover. 
and that's how you field strip an AK style rifle. Also, once you field strip, you wanna make sure that you function test the rifle. So make sure it's clear, function test, rack it, pull your trigger, keep it held, rack it again, make sure it resets and you're good to go. That's it. All right, guys, that wraps up our video on the Century Arms Visca. Don't forget to check out sportsmansoutdoorsuperstore.com for firearms like this and more. And also don't forget to subscribe to our channel down below. Click that notification bell if you haven't already and check all of our social media links in the description as well. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.